Worcestershire completed their third win of the LV County Championship season by defeating Glamorgan by eight wickets at New Road to close the gap on the promotion places to just 16 points. The visitors began the final day in serious trouble on 200 for seven, which left them still 28 runs behind. Worcestershire were kept in the field for a while by Jim Allenby, who was soon adding to his overnight score of 53. But they did break through in the fourth over of the day as Will Owen, having added six to his overnight 34, chopped a ball from Alan Richardson back onto his stumps. Allenby then lost a lot of the strike, leaving it to Michael Hogan to take his side into the lead, but with eight wickets down. For a while, Hogan's stand and deliver approach worked very well as he blasted nine boundaries and a 32-ball stay, which brought the Australian 46 runs. It couldn't last though, and after adding 57 for the ninth wicket with Allenby, Hogan was bowled by Joe Leach, with Glamorgan just 40 runs ahead. Ten more were added before Michael Reed nicked Chris Russell behind, leaving Allenby stranded on 74 out of his size 278, one more than they'd managed in their first innings. That left Worcestershire just 51 to get to record their important win and to avenge their defeat in Cardiff earlier in the season. Rain would have got them worried for a while. But they were back on after lunch only to lose Daryl Mitchell, who would have needed a bat twice its normal length to middle rather than edge, Reed to Walters. Marcus North then removed Matt Pardo with his first ball, the batsman driving to Owen at mid-on. And that left Moe Nally, the man who set up this win with his amazing 250 on the first day and a half, to hit the winning runs four balls later to take his tally of championship runs this season to 908. He is now in pole position to be the first to 1,000 after the break for the 2020. It was a fabulous performance by Worcestershire who needed a win after Lancashire hammered the leaders Northamptonshire inside two days in this round of games. Worcestershire took 23 points for their eight-wicket success to leave them only 16 points behind Lancashire, although they do have a game in hand. Glamorgan had to settle for just three points and their own chances of promotion are now looking a little remote.